Chapter 18 of Blackfeet Indian Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Blackfeet Indian Stories by George B. Grinnell. Chapter 18 The Lost Elk Meat. Old Man had been a long time without food and was very hungry. He was trying to think how he could get something to eat when he saw a band of elk come up on a ridge. He went over to them and spoke to them, and said, "'Brothers, I am lonely because I have no one to follow me.' "'Go ahead, old man,' said the elk. "'We will follow you.' Old man led them about for a long time, and when it was dark he came near a high, steep, cut bank. He ran around to one side where the hill sloped, and then went back right under the steep cliff and called out, "'Come on, that is a nice jump. You will laugh.' So all the elk jumped off, and were killed, except one cow. "'They have all jumped but you,' said old man. "'Come on, you will like it.' "'Take pity on me,' said the cow. "'I am very heavy, and I am afraid to jump. "'Go away, then,' said old man. "'Go and live. "'Then some day there will be plenty of elk again.' Old man built a fire, and cooked some of the meat, and then he skinned all the elk, and cut up the meat, and hung it up to dry. The tongues he hung on a pole." The next day he started off, and was gone all day, and at night, as he was coming home, he was very hungry. He was thinking to himself that he would have some roasted ribs, and a tongue, and other good things, but when he reached the place, the meat was all gone. The wolves had eaten it. "'It was lucky I hung up those tongues,' said old man, "'or I should not have had anything to eat. But when he took down the tongues, they were all hollow. The mice had eaten out the meat, leaving only the skins.' End of chapter 18, The Lost Elk Meat, read by Kara Schallenberg on March 16, 2008, in San Diego, California.